Hey, Gavox here. So, I'm not gonna do what you all think I'm gonna do and freak out about what. Let's take a look after a message from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. All right, so last night I put out a tweet saying, you know, I'm 16-0 in EA right now in Weekend League, which if anybody who follows the stream knows that EA was a disconnect on stream, and that was fucking frustrating. Uh, but we already did a video on that, so we're just going to, you know, put that in into that video and separate ourselves emotionally. Um, I said I kind of want to finish, but, you know, I might get uh, some sort of content tomorrow. Uh, what should I do? Because, you know, this was this was pretty late at night. Um, fairly... Fairly decent late. I didn't want to stay up for another, what, eight more games? So, what, four hours, three to four more hours? I could have got some early quits or whatever. But, anyways, what I ended up doing is just, you know, quitting, going to bed, waking up for the next day for content. And it's sad it never came. Now, maybe I can blame myself for that since Kralo said content's coming this week. And I was, like, excited. But maybe it was just Team of the Week. And maybe I should have listened harder. But... You know what? I'm still disappointed we don't get content on Mondays, right? Like, is this going to be going forward? Or maybe next week they'll start it on Mondays? Because it does feel like... How many weeks are we into the game? Three, four weeks um, into the game. I got it on the... When was it? The 20th of August? Was that when it came out? That was EA Access, though. Uh, 20th, 27th, 3rd, 10th, 17th would be this Thursday. So that'd be like four and a half weeks we'd have the game. If I can add one, two, three. Yeah, four and a half weeks. And we don't have the daily content yet. And, and not really as a game it is basically daily content and updates and things to do. New sets, re-rolls, cards to go for, to add to the squad, try out, that kind of stuff. Now, once you get to a certain level, and, and, and I realize I'm a power user, just like a power top, I tend to go through things pretty quickly. So that's why a lot of us do need that satiation of the new content. Now, a lot of people that maybe are, are, are not as like you know into it as the top end, be like, well, we're fine, we got a lot of content, I can see where you're, you're kind of still improving your team, I understand that, but I feel like EA does need to serve all of its markets, they put out solos, and they put out head-to-head, -head. Uh, so like, they put out the yard for that like, more casual, Superstar KO, but like, currently, they're not really serving the top end of their market very well, in my opinion, the people that are basically trying to consume and trying to get through and use daily content, both for like, you know, packs and for like enjoyment and like new cards and, and players to add to both their theme teams their regular team so it, it's something that's just frustrating as a person who has enjoyed mutt five years and, and a content creator on top of that um it, it's 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 a little disappointing right because how often have have we complained about you know lack of content right they gave up on 20 just to feel like they gave up on 21 too because like not only does it feel like an unfinished product, it also feels like they're being cheap with us. Because the unfinished product with all the glitches, and, and I don't have to go into that, I just want to go into them being cheap with us. The browse the store, right? Like, paying for level rewards, whereas, like, the competition gives that stuff away for free, and even more powerful level rewards than what EA gives us for free, or, or makes the charges for, sorry. They give us free stuff, EA charges for less powerful versions of it. And it's disappointing because, like, you generate a lot more goodwill and we'd be a lot more understanding if you made this game, you know, easier to kind of, like, grind for. If you didn't nerf head-to-head -head rewards. If, if, you know, Weekend League was a little bit more generous with your packs. If your packs spit out kind of, like, crazy cards at that point. And, and that's, I think, the big disconnect, right? You, you got rid of the loopholes, or at least the ones so far. I haven't really seen any loopholes. There's some methods, obviously, still working. We'll talk about that later tonight on Market Monday. Uh, but that's kind of it, right? Like... You're not generous. You're not bringing out a lot of content to like uh, allow us to like diversify our teams at the top end. It's basically a couple cards everybody's using. Everybody go up against using the same Lamar card, and that's you know partially due to your inability to balance pocket passers versus escape artist uh, passers because passing right now is all the same basically once you get to 75 accuracy. Um, so like, I understand I have a top end team, especially the the Cooks is just like the major flex of the team, and I spent a lot on him, but. I don't know. That's what the uh, content diversity really means to, to Mutt players. So, like, what are we grinding for right now? What, what's going on? I know you said Team of the Week tomorrow is going to come out different. We could speculate on that. But, like, today, where's our Flashback Mondays or Flashback Fridays or whatever it is? Throwback Mondays. Like, there's so many different programs you could do. How hard is it to come out with new cards? Because here's the thing. You did come out with a new card today. It's in Superstar KO. 
Nat85 Richard Sherman. Is that is that the content, right? Is is this our content for the day? Like, why is it easy to do that, but we don't see anything in MUT and any sort of program added there, right? I really hope Mondays aren't going to be just a barren day and just basically like, you know, all right, now another day without content. Sunday, Mondays are uh, your day to rest. It's like, nah, 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 nah. You need, you need something to hook us, right? You don't have the park like 2K has. You don't have MLB that shows content diversity and actual amazing amount of usable cards and, and free grindable stuff. So like you need to satiate us with that, like just absolute dump on our chest of content. So team of the week being different. I want to go through that. Interesting that they got that going. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know. Like, could they switch to, like some sort of FIFA style team of the week? Um, like, and then like, could they do throwbacks? Like, you know what they've done in the past? Like if we look through the team of the week stats that happen, like cards that'll probably get one, Matt Ryan or Aaron Rodgers, I can see getting a team of the week card. Uh, glad I was Hilaire could, could de definitely get one. Zeke, he already got a card. It's probably not him. Uh, Hopkins, I would say if, if, if Rogers gets this card instead of Devante, I don't really do team of the week predictions, but, uh, maybe I could sort by this a little bit better, but these are the tackle leaders. So I'm not going to go through and do that, but team of the week, Kralos said it's going to be different. I think like they could do what, uh, MLB the show did and do like throwback weeks, uh, to like weeks in the past of how good, uh, how, how, uh, like really good weeks they had like week one of 2018, this guy did amazing. So we'll throw him in or they could do like week one of 1966 and they could do like a legend card. They could definitely do some sort of thing like that. That'd be kind of a new addition because team of the week's been asked for a few years. So really when Kralos said it's going to be different, that kind of excited me a little bit. And you know what? That's maybe why I'm not on a huge angry rant because I like innovation and change. And if it was going to be the same old team of the week cards that are basically shit. I would get a little bit angry, but I do appreciate them saying, hey, it's a little different this year. You're going to be excited maybe. And uh, you know what? I'm here for it. I just hope Mondays going forward aren't, aren't fucking bankrupt like this. Um, so Kralo did say they're auditing Weekend League. We'll see if that comes in anything. Like I, I know I know Problem put out a thing uh, saying like, hey, this guy's just like disconnecting people. Here, I'll show, I'll show you Problem's uh, um, little thing on that one. This guy, this guy that, that came into chat bragging about going undefeated and pushed problem down the weekend league leaderboard. So I truly hope they do audit weekend league. Like in the past, like people play on multiple accounts. And I don't know, like I talked to Jacoby last night um, off that tweet. And like, I don't know if EA cares, but people playing multiple accounts, pushing people out of the top 100 is essentially the same thing, right? Basically, if this guy's disconnecting to go 25 and 0 and going past problem, that's a way worse thing in my opinion. But I could see EA because it's the main qualifying mode. And I I could have swore people got, like, you know, audited in the past for salary cap for playing on multiple accounts. But he said that didn't happen. So I don't know. There's a lot of shenanery going on in Weekend League and Online Matter right now with the disconnect glitch. This shit happened live on stream, which is, which is the most amazing thing to me ever. So I don't know. We, like, it's it just, man, it's just a shit show, right? A lack of caring, I feel like, is the main cause of it. Like, it's because maybe it's their hiring practices. I've heard people speculate, like, you know what? They only hire contractual people before they, like, just let them go on to a new job. They underpay people. So, like, and that is a huge issue, right? You got to pay your talent. EA just is so fucking cheap, right? They make billions of dollars, but, like, they run it like a like a manufacturing company, and they just run through people, like, like I've said this before, shit through a chicken. And they don't really care. They just want to cut costs, cut costs, cut costs. We don't realize they're a service company. And you need to service your customers or else, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, here's the biggest argument I see online. Oh, well, they're going to keep making money. Why should they care? It's like, yeah, Kodak kept making money in the 90s on their fucking film technology. But they're like, nah, eh, fuck digital cameras. We don't care what those have. Like, it's good until it's not good anymore, right? You see the, the, the people are rising up with the NFL drop EA. Now, that's not going to happen for five or six years, sadly. But, like, that's going to come home to roost. Right, EA sure they look at a short term profit over long term shit, but this is all gonna come home to roost eventually against them. So it is frustrating as a mutt player, as a Madden player, right? There's no community currently, like name a community that's currently satisfied. Maybe the yard community because they just started off, they're just brand new. But you know, franchise is fucking pissed. Mutt players are fucking pissed. Squads players, which I guess is a subset of the mutt players, they're just they're they're just angrier than all get out. Like they they've gone full cartoon, like you know, smoke out the ears head popping off with like a, just an explosion right there. So 
I don't even I, I don't even know, right? I don't even know who's not upset at the game right now. And it's it's kind of a weird thing that like EA just kinda like, yeah, you know, we got some shit coming. We got some fixes coming. We get it, you know, still some a lot of problems. It's just like they just got this like, you know, laissez faire attitude. It's like, yeah, I'm still getting paid right now. We still got the exclusive NFL license. We're still we're still doing numbers. So go fuck yourself. I don't know. It's it's a little disappointing on that end, but I will wait till tomorrow, till the rest of the week for content. I truly hope that there's more than just this coming out. You know, the 50 than most feared. Oh, man. Check back for more content. I have been checking back. And I have not been seeing more content. Oh, fuck you.